let's head over here to the next game, guys. We're going to the streets of Boston in this one. This line is moving right now. It's moving for a good reason here. We do have the Boston Celtics laying a point and a half. It is getting to where they are getting a point and a half now, guys. So the Raptors have flipped to the favorite as one to have favorites here. Looks like they just ruled some guys out, but I don't cap games based off of injuries. injuries. This is all a, this is a spot play right here. Over and under, sitting at 222 and a half in this one, guys. I might say this is a, a play for me in this one. Uh, I am on the Toronto Raptors in this one, plus one for the show. Uh, money line, whatever you'd like to do. Um, in this one, guys. Give me the Toronto Raptors in this one. Spot play. Triple revenge spot. Have a lot more to play for than the Boston Celtics as well, guys. Uh, Josh, any thoughts on this game, my brother? I know that the Celtics are your squad, but we have to admit, in this triple revenge spot, Celtics locked into the two seed. There's not a ton to risk here. Risk of injury, things like that. The duplex spot as well. Raptors just lost in the same arena. I think they come out here and play this. I think the Raptors come out here and give it everything they got here tonight, Josh. I think they get the win this time around. Yeah, I think you basically covered it all. I think Jalen Brown just got ruled out as well while we're live. So, you know, there's confirmation that uh, Boston aren't exactly going to take this one too seriously. There's no reason for them to be putting a whole lot of effort in either. So it's all about sort of rest management, I think, for them, these last couple of games locked into that two seed. Toronto, like you said, they're still uh, fighting for seeding in the play-in and, and, you know, trying to do their best to try and claw into that 7-8 spot, which would mean, you know, the opportunity of just a one game to have to try and get into the playoffs. But uh, ultimately, like you said, it's one team that, that has something to play for, another team that doesn't have anything to play for, uh, one team that will probably be playing their guys large chunks of minutes as per normal, and another team that will be looking to avoid doing so at all costs. So, you know, this time of year, sometimes it can just be that simple, and, and the Raptors, as a result, are the right side for that. Uh, they're also, like you said, the fact that they in the same building, the opportunity to get uh, some sort of revenge back on, on this Celtics team pretty much straight away. Nick Nurse is pretty good at these quick adjustments in these back-to-back -back situations as well when playing the same team. So uh, I think, like I said, unless you're getting the Celtics shooting 50-60% from deep for, for the, the duration of this game, uh, the Raptors should probably deservedly be favorites, which they are now. And I think that line probably grows a little bit between now and tip-off. Exactly. Yeah. Give me the Raptors. I did hop on them plus one. I I still play them on the money line. Um, I still lay minus one and a half, minus two. I think the Raptors get with this, win this game by at least five points, my guy. So give me the Raptors in this one, Alex. Uh, any thoughts on this game, my brother? Yeah, nothing terribly interesting to add. I think you guys nailed this spot. The Celtics have nothing to play for. They can't get to one. They're not going to fall down to three. So it would make all the sense in the world. Let's rest some guys. Let's try to get some other guys some minutes here. Maybe give Brogdon a couple, a little bit of a run here. Give him some big stats. Maybe get a chance at that sixth man of the year award, which he's probably not going to win. But there's just nothing in this for the Boston Celtics. And uh, they've been bad in bad spots all year. When there's no motivation, uh, these guys don't seem that interested in playing basketball. So uh, you take a look at everything. As much as I don't think Toronto is going to catch up um, to Atlanta there for the eighth spot, they're still locked in. They're still playing good basketball. So Definitely Raptors are fast. Exactly, yeah. So give me the Raptors here, plus the one. That's for the show, but like I say, I do like them, minus one and a half as well. I like to talk about the current numbers, guys. So even though this is the play for the uh, for the show, it's, it is at minus one and a half now. I still like that as well, just to let you know. Uh, there's no real reason giving out a bad line uh, to you guys. Give me the Raptors to win this game by at least five points in this one. We're rocking with the six in this one, the Raptors, the dinosaurs. You see what I'm saying? But... Mm -hmm.